Hello everyone, it's good to be back out. I know it's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it, since I uh, last uploaded, but I had things to do at home. I wanted some time to myself, and I wanted to spend time with the family for a couple of weekends. And I had a lot of like stuff to do at home, like gardening, and I had to sort out the back garden and all that. It was a nightmare, it needed doing. So I had to take the time to do all that and do other things. But as you can see, I'm back out. I've come out on another e-bike that I've been trying out for a little while now. I've had it about a month, I guess. I'm actually very impressed with that little folding bike. But first, let's get the tent and that set up. I'm using a tent I haven't used in a long time. We'll get set up and then we'll talk about this bike. Well, my bedding's in, so in here today I have got my One Tigress inflatable mat, I've got my Flextail pillow, and I've got the new One Tigress sleeping bag. Feels very nice. This is a free season bag that they bought out, so looking forward to trying that. Fresh in yesterday. And then of course what I'm sleeping in tonight is my gear top bivy tent. I probably haven't used this bivy tent for two years, maybe more, probably about two years. So first time out in it in a very, very long time. I'm quite excited to use it, despite the fact it's the same shape as a coffin. But yeah. Mm. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just a tent. Doesn't matter if it's the shape of a coffin. The same shape of as death. <laughs> so this is the OT16 folding e-bike by the company One Sport. And I've got to say I'm really impressed with it so far. I've had it about a month, been riding it about, and it handled these coming in here on the woodland tracks and through the woods, quite muddy as well, handled it really well. Because we've got 20 inch 
wheels on there with three inch fat tires and they're quite knobbly so they actually grip really well we've also got a really nice screen on here we've got and we've got three levels of assist as you can see it also has bluetooth if you want to download the app and connect it to your phone that's what that little symbol is flashing in the top right hand corner there it also comes with a throttle if you want to put it on you don't have to put it on it comes separate in the box but as i use it off-road i've put it on but obviously make sure with your local laws and regulations that you can actually have this installed if you're planning on using it on the road on the rear we have shimano tawny gears and they function really well i'm really happy with them they've done a good job so far so everything is adjustable on this bike obviously the seat is adjustable and the handlebars are adjustable simple as that just a little lever on the side clips it in and the seat's got suspension it's bouncy it's actually really effective as well really easy really simple to adjust the handlebars Flick that across, lift to your desired height, flick it back over, it's that simple. Job done. So the OT16 is powered by a 48 volt battery. We've also got a 250 watt hub motor on the rear, so 250 watts, that is fully street legal in the uk so you can use that on the roads one sports state that you can get 60 kilometers in pure electric mode and 120 kilometers using the pedal assist so that's actually a pretty good range i haven't personally tested that yet but as i've said in previous videos the range take it with a pinch of salt it depends on your weather conditions the weight of the rider and the terrain you're riding on hilly smooth rough it really does depend on all them sort of factors so do your own testing on that i'm sure it gets close to that removing the battery is really simple you literally just lift the seat like so it's got a little lever on the bottom turn the key all the way and then just lift the battery out and to put the battery in it's obviously just the reverse process. Mine's a little bit more difficult because I've got my panniers attached there. Lock. Also, when you want to ride the bike, you need to have the key in the battery. So you can, that's off. So absolutely no power will be going to the control unit or the screen. Switch it to there, on, and the screen, when you press the power button, will power up. Folding the bike couldn't be easier. Pull the lever on the handlebars, slide it across, fold it down, like so. And you've got this one here. There we go, all that. Got a handle there, these you have to push down or pull up. There we go, pull that one up, move the pedal round. slide it over I can't completely close mine because I've got my panniers on there but it's it's that simple makes it a bit easier for storing if you're tight on space and that just locks like that like that back up lock the handlebars into place all the all the clips are on the handlebars there and down there exactly the same as what you get on the handlebar adjustment. So it's all, all very simple. I like it. It's good. We've got disc brakes front and rear. They're not hydraulic. They are cable operated. They're fine. They work. They're powerful enough. This is a, only a small bike. It's only got a little motor on the back. So then the brakes are enough trust me they were stopping me coming downhill with me on 
my bag on and all the weight in these panniers so if you're just poodling about to and from work commuting or going to the shops and that it's ideal if you want to use it for camping it's ideal for that as well because it's got the rack on the back so what can I say I'm really impressed with it I like it if I didn't like it I'd say we've got front suspension on the front I will say one thing um, that when I was coming down the uh, tracks going over tree roots and that the front suspension did knock a little bit but at the same time you've got to remember this is mainly for on the road and off-road capability is really more designed towards going down gravel tracks and things like that it's not really designed for going through mud over loads of tree roots so other than that the suspension knocking it did great but I'm happy with it I, I would recommend it 100% so I will leave all the relevant links below to the one sport website and for that bike go check their website out they have got a load of other bikes on there if that one don't take your fancy something else might they've got different styles that I'm so I'm sure you'd find one you like but yeah I can recommend that bike I actually really like it it did a good job today go check them out links will be down below made myself a cup of anti-murdery juicy juice Alan's here as well you can probably see him in the background there say hi Alan Hello. <laughs> and we've just had a unexpected shower of rain wasn't even in the forecast for today so only God knows what uh, what the weather's going to be like now for the rest of the day. <laughs> it was totally unexpected. Yeah, it was, it was quite heavy. So, I don't know if you can still hear it dripping out the trees. It's stopped now, but yeah. We'll see how the rest of the uh, camp goes. If it comes to rain. We're not meant to have it, but we've just had some. Typical British weather. Welcome to British summertime. Beer o'clock. Everything's set up, everything's done. The rain has passed, hasn't it, Alan? Yeah, that was really strange because there was nothing forecast at all. At least it was really, really short, wasn't it? Yeah. Not enough to get you wet. No. Anyway, cheers, Alan. Yeah, cheers, fella. <sighs> cheers, everyone. Boop. What it's all about, isn't it? Well, sitting in the rain. <laughs> oh, sitting in the sun and drinking beer. <laughs> yeah, the sun is out now. <laughs> we hope for a while. You can see blue sky anyway. Yes, a few clouds. Yep. It's, uh, no, it's, it's all right. It's, it's, it's funny, funny, funny day. Mm. And it's been so good, isn't it? The last few days it's been really warm and all sunny. All week. And, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, all, all week, not a cloud in the sky. It's been beautiful. And as soon as we come camping, showers. Mm. Oh well. Never mind. Yeah, must have done something bad in a previous life. Mm. I think I did. Or maybe in this one. <laughs> all right. Cheers, everyone. Ta-ra. Bugger off. Yeah. <laughs> Had enough. <laughs> Making me dizzy now, I might have to open another beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's the beer making you dizzy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd laugh if you fell off and went straight through your tent. <laughs> It's so nice to see that children are still easily amused, isn't it? <laughs> Shut up, Rob. <laughs> Go on, 
bit dizzy now. Mm. <laughs> when, when are you going to start your When are you going to start your Go Eats delivery <laughs> career? Oh, I'm so dizzy. Now it's just a little flat bit at the top here. Oh, is that? When I was filming over here, I had an owl fly out, and I wondered whether he was nesting up here. But it's not. It's just a little flat bit. He obviously sits up here for having a a lookout, you know. Yeah. Now I've just got to get down. Well, don't you fall, because we don't need the paperwork. No. <laughs> <laughs> loose stuff you know you're just hoping I'm gonna fall down aren't you <laughs> why do you think I'm keeping the camera rolling <laughs> yeah, <nuts and> Why didn't you come down the way you went up? It's very slippery at the bottom, <laughs> and I didn't want to reverse down it. And I got to where it was like about eight foot, and I knew I was, I was happy to jump from that height. <laughs> the ground's quite soft, so it's not a problem to land. <sighs> that must have been must have been a big old tree when that was still standing. Cool, yeah. I never remember it being in one bit. It's, it's always been like this as long as I remember. Yeah, same. I don't ever remember it being uh, standing. I think it just rotted out. Yeah. Rotted out and fell apart. I don't think it was struck or anything like that. Me and Alan come up here because I saw these, I think they're polypores, aren't they? Yeah. I saw these on the walk in this morning and they are absolutely massive. They are big. Yeah. I've got my head in for scale. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are huge though. They are bloody huge. They are massive, aren't they? Yeah. There we go, fire's going and the kettle is on. Because I fancy a cup of anti murder juicy juice. Alan's still drinking beer, so I'm guessing he's probably not gonna want a coffee. But I want one, because I've finished mine. Coffee's done, much needed, because me and Alan have been climbing trees. <laughs> Being silly buggers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, you know, well, you would have seen. <laughs> but, yeah. So. It was like being a kid again, wasn't it, Alan? I, I still am. I've never grown up. I remember doing that all the time as a kid, climbing trees and stuff. Now all they want to do is play on their play boxes and X stations. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, yes I do know the proper names, Xbox and PlayStation. But X station sounds like something you find on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> X station sounds like Pornhub's little brother. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Cup of tea uh, well coffee for me after doing that. She really enjoyed climbing that tree. Is that really sad? No, I don't think it's sad. And I don't care if you think it's sad. So, it is nearly dinner time at Big Brother Camp. And I've really, really pushed the boat out. I've gone with a pot noodle tonight. I couldn't be asked, okay? I couldn't be asked. It was warm. I didn't want to bring any meat in or anything. So, 
and I was trying to travel light. So that is it. A pot noodle, sweet and sour flavour. Simples. What you got for your dinner tonight, Alan? I have chicken tikka masala and pilau rice, but nothing flash. At the supermarket, cheap tuna curry, rice that was on offer, probably three quid all in. <laughs> Why not? Why not? All I can say is, I'm glad I'm not sharing a tent with you. It would be warm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it well, I think there'll be considerably more warm air in the morning in there than there will when I first go to bed. I think it's going to stink in there in the morning. It might do. It might smell very pleasant. It might just smell of curry. <laughs> I doubt it, but it might. My pot noodle's done. This is a uh, sweet and sour. It's a pot noodle. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, Alan's eating his. He had his uh, tikka masala or whatever it was. You can read this. Have some chill time. Catch you in a bit. Time for another beer. Alan's doing his washing up. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Wash up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do it about an hour ago, and I just remembered. <laughs> Pot was full of cold water. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. It's like, it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> Biggest mug in the camp. You wish that was full of beer. Yeah. <laughs> <Good night. sighs> I think that at all. Ooh, a good point and a bit, I should think. Yeah, easily. Yeah, dinner was all right. It was a pot noodle, so you know, is what it is. Beer, chilling out by the fire, which seems to be a little bit smoky at the moment. Which we don't mind too much because it's keeping the bugs at bay. So, yeah. It's now a very pleasant evening, now the rain clouds have gone. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Sun is shining, skies are blue. What more can you want? Dancing girls? Hmm. Yeah. Well, the sun's gone down, hasn't it, Alan? Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> it's quarter past ten. Yeah, and it's only really been dark the last oh. sort of twenty minutes or so, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah. Because it's got dark, we we was playing with Alan's remote control tent light, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be done. Lucky pair of kids. It's quite funny. <laughs> Alan, turn your tent on. <laughs> What other colours you got? Red. <laughs> yeah. A bit green. Yeah. Or white. <laughs> two two levels on each. Brilliant. I'm pretty sure it's going to be bedtime soon. To be honest, I'm quite tired. Yeah. So. Well, it's been quite tiring at work with that heat, isn't it? Yeah. It's been horrible. Oh, bloody knackered riding. Yeah. Yeah, probably going to go to bed soon, so if I don't chat to you again, I'll chat to you in the morning. ta -ra. Good night. Morning. I 
Mark's cup of anti-murdery juicy juice. What a lovely morning, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, it's really nice, actually. Lovely. Yeah, not bad at all. Blue skies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, good morning. Oh, shit. Oh! oh! No, no, no. No. Oh. Take two. <laughs> that is awful. Oh my. Oh. Must Shit. Be this, must be this biscuit. Oh god, that hit me instantly. Okay, it's gone. It was a fast mover. That was, that was. Yeah, Alan's awake. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> yeah, I slept like a log last night. Didn't wake up once. It was great. I was so comfortable. I must have just everything must have just been right. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm. yeah, mm. Oh, very nice. But yeah, nice night, wasn't it? Mm wasn't cold. Well, at least I weren't cold, not in there anyway. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> just, just like you say, just a nice temperature. Yeah, yeah. So I slept through to about half of six, something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I woke up about six, half six-ish, because my alarm went off. For walking the dog. But obviously the dog ain't here. But, um, yeah, I just went back to sleep. So... Yeah, very pleasant sleep. Drink this and start packing away, I guess. Chat to you in a bit. Ta-ra. That's it, another camp is over for me. Really enjoyed using that little bike. Handled the woodland tracks really well on the way in. Can't complain, really. Good, good little bike. Did you enjoy your camp, Alan? I did. You I did? did. <laughs> we had a laugh. <laughs> Yep. We had some funny discussions around the fire, yep. um, most of it which, which won't make the edit, of course. No. Uh, you daren't. Um, Snowflakes. Are, mm. Yeah, and, and this morning has been quite <coughs> epic. Oh, oh dear. No. <laughs> oh. But anyway, thanks for watching. You got a puncher, I think. <laughs> Them ducks are loud this morning, aren't they? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll leave all the uh, relevant links in the description below so you can go check out the One Sport website and see what e-bikes they have that take your fancy. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! Now bugger off. <laughs>